this now as well. So this is the first time we've ever streamed uh, for Soccer Cards United on Twitch. If anyone is tuning in, uh, I don't know how they would because we have like no Twitch followers or anything. But if anyone is tuning in for the first time, uh, I'm Jason. I'm one half of a podcast called Soccer Cards United. And uh, we did, we talk about soccer cards all the time. We have two podcasts a week. You can get it wherever you get your podcasts. Um, and I don't actually know how I can see how many people are in the stream. This is my first time doing this. Um, there's a chat room. Okay. We just type this in. Anybody? Some nice forearm action there for you guys. Anybody in chat? I don't know if you can use chat if you're not signed in. Oh, Soccer Card Collector UK. Hello. Bet you cannot wait to pull a Lewandowski auto. Of course, there are no Lewandowski autos in here. Soccer Card Collector UK. So anyway, let's let's just start because we're going to record this anyway. And we can put it out on YouTube or something. So let's just start uh, doing it, right? So here we go. Um, <clears throat> I'm really bad at opening. Uh, I'm really bad at opening sealed wax because I can never get the little bit. I'm going to use a scissors. I know this is probably um, very, very unorthodox. Okay, I've torn it there. Little tear. So. Oh. Hello, T Crier. How are you? This is fun. I don't know how many people are in the stream. I don't know. Everyone can hear me okay. You have the same box at home. I'm doing good. Yeah, we're all doing good. I got I tell you what I have here. I have a little bottle of bottle of beer. Where's my camera? A little bottle of beer is going, mmm. Thank you very much. Okay, video's good, sound is good. The stream is sponsored by Peroni. It's not, but if it, if Peroni wanted to send me some of their beer, I'd love that. People that have seen our Instagram lives will know that I'm always drinking something. Not necessarily alcohol, but I'm always drinking something on uh, on stream. It's a nervous. Yeah, you see that Zlatan behind me. There he is. 2002 World Cup Zlatan. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Got them from Egypt. Got them in from Egypt a few, few months back. Thinking Zlatan was going to go to the Euros. Um, but then he never did. By the way, we also have some of these guys. Uh, some Ultra Pro card sleeves. So I'm going to sleeve the cards as they come out and I'll top load them after the stream. So you don't need to get in the stream and say, oh, come on, you got to top load this stuff. I know, I'm going to do it after. Let me just open up these guys. Do, do, do. Okay, so here we go. We're now opening the box. Which way does the box open? It's perforated, but then it isn't. Okay, I got it. I got it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the Champions League Chrome box should be much better than than uh, the Bundesliga one. The Bundesliga checklist was kind of weak. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on here. Um, yeah, look at this setup. I know. I know I'm 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 getting better. I'm getting better with the setups. I'm trying to do better. Um, and that's why I said to Enzo, I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna go live on Twitch." Oh, what happened? Did something happen? Um, I bought the box at retail. Um, so we have a website called SoccerCardsUnited.com. We try and get stuff on retail. And then we... I see what's happening here. The Let me turn my um, card cam off here and see if I can get it back going. Okay, it's disconnected. Um, so you can still see me on the, on the main camera, yeah? Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Very good. Very good. So now we turn this back on and we're back in business. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get into this Bundesliga Chrome rip. So we got it on retail and uh, we actually sold a few of them on. <laughs> Jinxed it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody comment on how good the stream is because it is going to fail at various points. So let's do our first pack 
uh, here. This is our first pack of Topps Chrome 2020-2021 Bundesliga cards. So there's one, let's just go over it real quick. There's one Chrome autograph guaranteed per box. So I guess we're looking for like a Jude Bellingham autograph in this would be fantastic. Although he has so many rookies. But a Jude Bellingham or maybe like a Moussa Diaby. I personally like Moussa Diaby. I think this might be his first. It would be his first auto. I'm not quite sure. Wouldn't be his rookie. But anyway, um, there are some pack. There are some odds. Uh, I don't know if you can guys see it. You can see there on the back. There are approximate odds. So I'm just going to read out some of those. Um, so there's base card parallels. There's refractor one in three box or one in three packs. Purple, X Fractor, Prism, Blue, Blue Wave, Green. So there's loads of stuff. You open a Topps Museum one and you regret it. You only found a Holland Limited 75. Yeah, the Topps Museums are, are tough because it's like you open it and it's only, it's not that many cards. So you got a museum still sealed. Museum from this year, yeah, the Champions League 2020, 2021. I would keep that sealed because you don't know which of those rookies is going to pop off. There's so many rookies in the... No, don't sell it. If it's a Champions League museum, I wouldn't I wouldn't sell it ASAP because there's a lot of rookies in this year's class for the Champions League and some of them could do well. So maybe just keep it sealed if it's Champions League from this year. Okay, let's open this first pack. So I like this because I can still talk. I don't have to try it. Usually when we're doing like Instagram lives and stuff, I have to like hold it up and show you guys all the time. But now I can just actually open it. Oh, Hans Van Aken's no one to <laughs> no one to laugh at. Okay, let's see who's first. Oh, first of all, I forgot how how nice these uh these cards are. They're really nice cards. The, the Chrome. If I move this way, is that better? Yeah. So first of all, we start with Max Max Cruz. Okay, base card. All right, maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll show here and then I'll, I'll keep these here and I'll show here. So Max Cruz, base card, Union Berlin. They got into the Europa Conference League this year. So um, then we have Andre Kramerich. You can see, do, 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 do. you can see there, Andre, look at, just look at the finish though on these cards. They're really nice. Here's Andre Kramerich, base card. I think he might've finished as one of the top scorers in the league uh, this season, Kramerich. So I like him. I like watching Kramerich. He scores a lot of goals, um, but Hoffenheim did not have a great year. So then we have for uh, Freiburg, we have Jonathan. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit the auto in the first pack. Is that right? He's supposed to hit the auto in the first pack. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I'll show you. So uh, Jonathan Schmidt then is the is the next one for Freiburg. You can see him. There he is. Okay. There he goes. Yeah, Jonathan Schmidt. And then we've hit an auto. Auto alert. You know, when I'm like a pro streamer, we can get um, sirens and alerts and everything like that. And then be like, we hit the auto. So, all right. First pack. We've hit the Chrome Auto. It's numbered to 25. It's for FC Mainz. Uh, or FSV Mainz. And it's Musa Niakate. Musa Niakate. Oh, whoa. Whoa. So it's an of 25 Auto. Pretty good for, uh, for a box. But it's Niakate who is not... There isn't actually... You can see... A big... Look at that. That is a beautiful card. It's a shame about the player, but it's a beautiful card of 25 Chrome Auto Musa Niakate from Bundesliga Chrome. Uh, let's see what it says in the back. You just received, you guys can see that there. You just received an autograph card from 2020-2021 Topps Chrome Bundesliga. Isn't he the one that got in Bundesliga Museum? Yeah, I feel like we did miss a Niakate uh, one in the museum. But um, last one sold for €5. Euros. Well, that is... That is a loss on this box. Okay. So he's 6'3. Uh, 180. No, I don't know what WT stands for. Born 1996. Same as me. French guy. I I think I've seen Niakate play. He, he's kind of typical uh, Mainz 
uh, forward, you know, uh, physical, combative, not prolific. But uh, we're going to stick that in the old top loader anyway, and I will um, put it, or I'll put it in a top loader now in a minute. So, wow. Okay, first, um, first pack we're hitting the we're hitting the auto so now what are we trying to find we're trying to find refractors we're trying to find parallels we're trying to find inserts um for makoko obviously is in here that's pretty cool bellingham uh florian verts florian verts has the grade at using the yeah i'm gonna super express this <laughs> super express <laughs> psa this niakate auto all right well that's that's that so you guys reckon between Jonathan Schmidt, Max Cruz, and Kramerich bases, and then a Niakade Auto, we're about $5 up. We've made about $5. If we were to sell these cards, about $5. Okay, that's pretty good. So. So, um, I don't actually, I don't have, like, I, all I have is my streaming, like, um, OBS in front of me. I don't have any kind of interface so i don't actually know how many people are watching the stream i don't know and i'm using my phone this is my phone this thing here that's my phone um so i don't have like access to any outside information all i have is all i have is t crier and jay bernsey in the chat do you guys already have twitch accounts is that why you can comment i don't know how twitch works all right so 19 viewers. All right, Jay Bernsey. Okay. So we start off the next uh, pack here um, with Orbi Leipzig, a forward. And it's uh, He Chan Huang, who I believe came from Orbi Salzburg. Um, Orbi Salzburg there. And he came to Leipzig. Um, and I think he was injured. And he wasn't particularly, didn't have a particularly great season. Um, but yeah, he could pop off at some point. I'm sure he has a sticker from his time in Austria. But Maybe that base card would be considered one of his rookies. Um, so then we have Jaivaro de Rolson for Hertha Berlin. Um, not not someone I'm familiar with. Midfielder did, doesn't play much, I don't think. Um, okay, you need a Twitch account to to comment. So guys, if you, I think we're going to do some more Twitch streams, opening cards and stuff like that. So if you want to. Uh, follow us on Twitch. You got to make a Twitch account. I just made one like yesterday, so don't feel like you're late to the party. Has the Jude auto hit yet? No, we haven't hit. A we got here's for anyone just joining. We already got our auto. It was this Musaniakate of twenty five auto. There you go. So okay, so Darulson we have here. Next is Dennis Zakaria. Okay, for Munchen Gladbach. Some of you guys might know I have a little soft spot for Munch and Gladback because we used to do, Enzo and I used to do a podcast called the Borussia Shone Munch and Podcast, and it was good fun. Um, so the Zakaria often touted would move away, but not a not a rookie and not a... Okay, here is our first um, insert. It's Kevin Schlotterbeck of SC Freiburg, Future Stars. Schlotterbeck, Future Stars. Um, is Schlotterbeck going to be a future star? I don't know what definition of star they're using. But he'll be a player in the future. So, he's a player now. Um, and you can see there, uh, I'll just show you that and I'll read this. Uh, only 21 years old when he's made his Bundesliga debut, gaining valuable experience while on loan at Union Berlin. He returned to Freiburg this summer. His action, his first action back came at the club. His first action back with the club came against Borussia Dortmund in match week three. So, Schlotterbeck, future star, future star. One to keep, one to keep. Okay, that's pack two down. So, I think we have like 18 packs. All right, guys, we're just hanging out. Okay. Um, You can see here, this is an Atletico Madrid jersey. This is the jersey from 2015-16. Um, it's a jersey they wore in the Champions League final that year. And I put that there because otherwise you could see into my wardrobe. And if I pulled the, the like this thing across, for you could see the light. So it's a bit behind the scenes for you. <clears throat> Next pack, pack number three. All 
All right. So to start off with, we have boom, David Alaba. David Alaba left Bayern Munich there, gone to uh, Real Madrid on a free agent contract. David Alaba, Austrian. There we go. Next, Nils Peterson. So Nils Peterson, uh, also of Freiburg, like his future star friend Schlotterbeck. And uh, he scores a few goals, Peterson, no doubt about it. Okay, next one is Dakai Kamada for Eintracht Frankfurt. I believe Kamada was one of the top assist makers in the Bundesliga this season. Um, Japanese player. Uh, I've heard maybe he might be leaving the club. I've heard Ar- some connection to Arsenal maybe, but this isn't his rookie. So there you go, Kamada. Played well this season. F- Frankfurt had a good season under uh, under Adi Hutter, but unfortunately couldn't get into Champions League places. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Parallel. It's a parallel, everybody. It is Kevin Akpoguma to 199. Look at that. Get a load of that. Ooh, yes. I don't know what exactly, that we, what color you would call that. But it's to 199, you can see. Okay. Loving the autofocus there on the... On the old phone. 18 appearances last season. Zero goals, zero assists. But it says he eclipsed um, Defender. He hit a thousand. Prism refactors. Okay. Oh, Jesse's here. Okay. Hey. Um, right. So there we go. That's our first uh, parallel apart from the auto. So Akpaguma of Hoffenheim. There we go. Nice. Again, like one of the things about this set is like it's whatever about the checklist, whatever about the players, the cards themselves are really nice. I, I have to admit that. Look, we've had our differences in the past. Mr. H is in here. You guys have crowns on your head. What's going on there? I'm a, I don't know anything about Twitch. Why do you have little crowns? If you could tell me why you have little crowns, that'd be great. Okay, one, two, we've done three packs. We're going to do our fourth pack. All right. So, who's out first? Oh, I mentioned him earlier. It's only Musa Diaby. Look at that. It's only Musa Diaby. You have Amazon Prime. Oh, because Amazon owns Twitch. All right, I'm starting to see who has Amazon Prime. All right, okay, you're giving yourselves away. So there's Musa Diaby. Uh, I think this is his first Chrome. I'm trying to think what else he has. I thought he only had from last season, I thought he only had uh, Bundesliga Stars of the Season Part 2. But actually, he has a pre-season tops now from the summer of 2019. And there is a, a BGS 10, BGS Pristine, Musa Diaby tops now from the summer of 2019 where he's like in the new signing and it, there's, it's on eBay and I, it's been on my watch list for months. Not even because I believe Musa Diaby is anybody to be prospecting. I just think it's a really cool uh, card to have. So there's Musa Diaby. That's our... Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Cameras. Okay. Next is Rafael Ginkiewicz for FC Augsburg. Conceded Robert Lewandowski's record-breaking goal, record-setting goal. Um, but I think he's been one of the most effective uh, goalkeepers in Europe, statistically, this season, Gigavitz. Okay. Next up, we have Sebastian Bornau for FC Cologne, the Goats of Cologne. All right. And then we have Mattia Natastic from the absolutely atrocious... Uh, Schalke, and this is, as you can see, oh, this is a refractor card. Ooh, you can see it here. Okay, refractor. Yeah. So Matija Natastic from Schalke relegated, terrible all season, but a nice refractor. So I'm gonna stick this in a sleeve. Do 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 do. 
So, four packs down, 14 to go. I can't believe we hit the auto in the first pack. That's actually like, from trying to plan a stream, that's not this what you want to do. You want to really, sus you know, really suspense, build up, drama. Okay. Oh, there's a weird card in here. I think I might be have like a die cut. It's either a die cut or it's broken. Uh, so, Seb Anderson, FC Cologne. Had a great season last season at uh, Union Berlin. Then went to Cologne. Not so good at Cologne. Things aren't good at Cologne. Then we have uh, Lucas Huller of Freiburg. Fine. Feinberg. We call them Feinberg. Because they're not good, but they're fine. Feinberg. Next we have Maximilian Arnold, Maxi Arnold, the Wolfsburg player. Um, I love Maxi Arnold. I remember he was in the Confederations Cup a few years back. Just midfield general, love him uh, for Germany. Didn't go to the, didn't get the Euro squad, but did get into the Champions League with Wolfsburg. So we'll see Maxi Arnold playing in the Champions League for Wolfsburg next season. What age is Maxi Arnold by the, by now? There's a crazy thing happening, but let me just check. 94, so Maxi Arnold is. If you don't find Haaland, charge back PayPal. You laugh, you laugh. But what is this? Now, excuse me. What on earth am I seeing here? Does anybody know what this is? Look at this. Guys, I got a card. It's all rip. It's all, it's all crazy. Nicholas Stark. Total defense. Oh, is this decade of dominance? Is that what this is? Is this the decade? It must be the decade of dominance. Because look, it says... DD, Nicholas Stark. Decade of dominance. Wow. All right, let's have a look at this. All right, so I'll show you on here. Um, after making his Bundesliga debut two weeks after his 18th birthday in 2013... Stark has helped Hertha Berlin finish in the top 10 in four of his five seasons with the club. A stout defender who has scored at least one league goal each year. In 1819, Nicholas won 75% of his aerial duels. Ooh. He has dominated for a decade. Ooh. What do we think of this design, by the way? It seems like they... They couldn't quite decide... How to... No, I don't like. I don't like it. I don't love it either. It's like a half. Yeah, I don't. We're not. This is a no die cut stream. Okay. Weird. Die cut. So, so so far the hits have been, we've had the Nicholas Stark decade of dominance die cut. We've had the uh, Natastic for Schalke refractor. We've had the uh, Akpaguma um, parallel to 199. Someone said it's a prism parallel. Then we've had the Musa Niakate to 25 autograph. So, yeah, that one is not even symmetrical, this die cut. Look, it's like they started doing a die cut and then they got tired. They're like, oh, do I have to finish this die cut? They just went to do something else. I'll get back to that die cut later, they said. They never got back to it. But that's typical, isn't it? So, pack number... Uh, five, I think. Or four. Or six. Definitely not four. Could be five or six. So, let's see here now. I see our first duplicate. Ooh... So, first card out, Amiri for Leverkusen. Kind of a crafty midfielder. He's got a few moves in him, Amiri. He's got a few little tricks and flicks. But I never see him and think this guy can play a full match. He doesn't seem to have good fitness. But, um, God bless him. All right, then we have Yuya Osako for Werder Bremen. Forward. Um... Teammate of Josh Sargent, of course. Oh, yes. Oh, it's the man himself. 
Mr. Jude Bellingham. You also don't have good fitness, no T. No. You're you're the Amiri of this. I would say you're the you're the Amiri of this uh, of this stream. There's Jude Bellingham. Yeah, base base card. Real nice base card with the RC logo. Let's get a close up on that RC logo. Okay, we're not really focusing in on it, but there it is. Fire, straight fire. What is what's one of these bad boys going for on eBay? What's Jude's base base chrome going for on eBay right now? Do we know? 60 euro. Ooh. 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 We like that. We like that very much. So we have Jude for 60 euro. This Nia Kante probably for 5 euro. And then we probably call all these, you know, 2 or 3 euro each, these guys. the deck. Who's, who's, who's out there completing the Decade of Dominance die cut set? Somebody is. Somebody's doing it. 60 euro for the Jude base. That seems high. That seems high, considering he has so many rookies. But anyway, there's Jonathan Schmidt. Uh, but this is a refractor. I thought it was a... a um, there we go. I thought that Schmidt was a duplicate because we already had the base. So there we go, another refractor. Yeah, 70 euro back. We're doing well on this. On this. We could really... We could take this, take this bad boy home. All right. So we've had Jude, we've had our auto. Let's see what's next. What's next for us? We've been through so much, but what's next? I don't know why my why the phone why the card cam went off earlier. I guess we'll never know. I did start messing with stuff on my on my computer. Holland, we need that Holland second year Chrome. But we're not there yet because we have first Andreas Vogelslammer. Vogelslammer for Armenia Bielefeld, who got relegated. But they were um, fun to watch sometimes. They were kind of the Paderborn of this season, if you remember Paderborn from last season. Then we have Theodore Gabriel Selassie for Werder Bremen. A rock, a rock at the back. Why doesn't Panini release boxes like Top Smash? Although they do, don't they? Wasn't wasn't Chronicles Panini Chronicles up on Panini America, PaniniAmerica.net for a while? Um, who stayed up? Werder, did they? Or Bielefeld? No, Bielefeld didn't stay up, did they? Who went down? Schalke. Schalke and who? I don't know. Somebody tell me who was relegated. I'm distracted because I'm live. Anyway. Bielefeld Be stayed up. So then who went down? Schalke? Werder were in the playoff, I think, were they? And who was the other team that went down? Oh, Werder went down automatically. Oh, I'm confused. I'm really confused. Um... Verda went down. Gotcha. Okay. Fine. Jeez. You don't all have to shout at me. Second uh, parallel of the night. Here we go. Look at this. It's a Ruben Vargas for Augsburg. Ruben Vargas to 299. 299 purple. Look at that. That is actually a gorgeous, um, a gorgeous parallel card. I really like that. He's a, this fella gets sent off a good bit. Vargas, he's kind of a angry guy. So, but hey, look. The last Ruben Vargas parallel sold for 21 cent. I don't know. Oh, do you know what I saw? People sometimes on uh, Twitch, they have like music that plays under their streams so that when they stop talking for a second, it's not completely quiet. And uh, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> uh, because... Do 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Chat, you guys are a bunch of a bunch of freaks, but I love you. Alright. Kevin Trapp. On track Frankfurt goalkeeper. There you go. Thank you, Jay Burnsy. Then we have Alfred Finn Bogerson, one of the stout one of the stout uh Icelandic um Icelandic forwards we've become used to seeing dotted around Europe. Oh, here's another rookie. Here's another rookie. It's Silas. It's Silas W, as we call him on the show, on Soccer Cards United, which you can get wherever you get podcasts. Silas Wamangituka. Wamangituka. There we go. It's Silas W. We call him that like we call Matthew Hoppy, Matthew H. Marizona. Um, But Silas, I believe, was playing... At wing back, Waman. Waman is actually a better nickname than just calling him Silas by his first name, which is kind of demeaning. Yeah, Waman. I think he was playing at wing back and he was scoring goals and getting assists like nobody's business. That guy, that American guy, um, the American coach with the Italian name that's from New Jersey and he coaches coaches uh, Stuttgart. What's his name? Whoa. I was trying to think of the Stuttgart coach's name. I didn't even know it was what I just got. Look at that. Jean-Philippe Mateta. There we go. Look at that. That is a parallel to 18 of 150. After scoring 14 goals and finishing fourth in the Bundesliga with 96 shots on target in his 1890 debut, Mateta missed much of 2019-20 with injury. There we go. Mateta. Was he the one that was on loan to Crystal Palace for the second half of the season? Am I remembering that correctly? That's a beautiful card though. I don't know exactly what. Um, let me just look at one of the packs. See what exactly what kind of parallel that is. Pellegrino Matarazzo. That's exactly who I was thinking of. Thank you, Jay Burnsy. He's from New Jersey. Did you know that? You wouldn't think it with his name. Um, doo, 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 doo. this could be the blue wave the blue wave refractor or, or not refractor um, what do you call it parallel but that's really nice I love that so we're getting um, look you can see I'm getting down to the uh Bit of polystyrene there. We only have... Let's see how many packs we have. Let's do a quick pack count. Let's take a break now to do a pack count. See how many we have left uh, to do. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 packs left. We haven't seen any sign of Erling Haaland. We haven't seen any sign of Makoko. Um, There's a few we haven't seen any sign of. Bayern Munich players very thin on the ground. So let's see what happens. Obviously, Jamal Musiala isn't even in this set, which is terrible. You know, I should have taken I should have taken another beer with me because I'm drinking, I'm nearly finished this. But it's okay. Don't you worry about me. Okay. Now, what did I just say? Bayern Munich players are quite thin on the ground, and then, ba-bam! There's Serge himself, Serge Gnabry, in there with his 70s moustache. Big Serge coming in. Base chrome card. Then we have Marcus Ingvartsen for Union. Workmanlike. You describe in Vaxen as workmanlike. Then we have French international called up to the Euro squad, uh, son of Lilian Thuram, Marcus Thuram, who is a fantastic player who I like a lot. And uh, he's going to the Euros. I believe this is his first Chrome. Um, he maybe he maybe he was in the last seasons, but I'm pretty sure this is his first one. 
I don't know why, but I just think it is. And uh, maybe I'll have a good um, a moment with France or something. I'm not sure. How do I switch the camera? The camera is so cards are small. Cards are big and Jason is small. You can't switch the cameras. I've switched the cameras that way. There, look. There we go. Can you see that? But that's a hilarious thing to call. I've let me see. Can I? Do, let me see. Can I increase the size of the card cam for you? How's that? Is that better? Is that better for everybody? Yeah. No. Maybe. Better. Okay. What the hell? Hang on a second. Look what we just got. Look at this. The Bundesliga trophy. What? The Meisterspiel or something. Isn't that what it's called? Meisterschale. Meisterschale. Awarded to the German champs since 1949 and the Bundesliga title since 1963-64. The Meisterschale features the engraved name of every league winner since 1903. It's been enlarged twice to accommodate new ones. Oh, it's been enlarged. They must have put new rings on it around the outside. Or maybe they just enlarged it some other way. I'm not quite sure. So there we go. Is that? Is that? Yeah, how rare is that? Okay. Jesse, you got one in one of yours. All right. There we go. Took that away. It's a short print. I wonder, has it got any... I mean, because according to this checklist, there's some big, there's some big uh, Bundesliga. We are rich. We're going to be rich with this because if you look at the checklist, Toff's kind of banking on the fact that there is a big collector base of uh, Bundesliga fans out there. So clearly they're going to want the trophy. All right. We have Mr. Danny Olmo. Spanish international, Orbi Leipzig player. They could have done with him on the pitch last night against Portugal in their friendly, Spain, um, because Morata couldn't hit a barn door. Another Schalke player, Omar Mascarell. Struggled. Spanish midfielder struggled with Schalke uh, this season, as everybody did. Used to play for Frankfurt, and I've heard Schalke are going to try sell him because they can't pay his wages in the Bundesliga Schwei, or Svei. Um, so yeah, Mascarell, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dun, 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 Ah, it's Yusuf from Makoko. There we go. There he is. Um, sorry, a question about Omo, Danny Omo's rookie. I think it will be his rookie. He must have something from before, but let's, let's say that's his rookie. I think it is. Anyway, we just got Mokoko. What the hell? Look at that. That's so exciting. Or C. Is it a refractor? No, it's just a base. Um, but there we go. Yokoko, the boy. Mokoko, the boy wonder. Yokoko. Come on. Yoko Ono. So you can see there. Um, there I'm, I'm reading the back. Sorry. You can see there. Last season, obviously no goals, no appearances, no assists. But he's a prolific scorer with the Youth Academy. And I think 38 euro for the for the Makoko. Is that what you're saying? 38? Am I selling Makoko? I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll post all these on our Twitter and Instagram. We'll post all the hits. Um, so make sure you're following us on Twitter and Instagram. And then we'll probably be selling this stuff. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Enzo. He has a better commercial brain than I do. I'm just the, you know, I do this part. You know what I mean? You know, you get what I'm saying? So then we have this guy, Ozan Kabak, who you may remember from his loan spell. I'm the looks, yeah, I'm the looks and he's the brains. Uh, <laughs> we're in trouble if I'm the looks. Uh, so Ozan Kabak for Schalke, obviously he went... Uh, to go to Liverpool for the second half of the season on loan. Um, I imagine he'll get a move away. I don't think Liverpool will keep him, but he'll probably get a move away somewhere else um, because he's proven himself... Re he's, he's okay. He can't quite handle Liverpool, but he can handle 
certainly teams better than Schalke. There you go. That's future stars. Future stars insert. Okay. That was a good pack, I thought. Oh, Makoko, I'm excited about that. Not even because... Not because I think, oh my god, this kid is something special. He's obviously very, very good. But it seems like he must be alright if he's doing all these things, you know? So, and the hobby likes him. The hobby loves a kid. Oh, would you look at this? Would you look at this? Now we're getting to the business end of things. There he is. Florian Verts scored a brace against um, Holland in the other 21 semi-final the other night. Leverkusen kid. Kai Havertz 2.0, Florian Verts. Does it have an RC logo here, but does have an RC logo on his tier one card, which means that we've basically just said this is his, this is his rookie season. So we're counting this as an RC, even if um, it's not. I'm sure he has something from last year, maybe not. Yeah, smashing it now, building up a bit of momentum now, feeling good, feeling limber, you know? It's nice to build up some momentum. So we've had we've had we've had Jude, we've had Coco, we've had Verts. There we go. We're getting the rookies. We're getting the rookies. Um, then we have this guy, Amin Arit, who, if you know of the, if you listen to the podcast, you'll know I've been chatting about him recently. He'll definitely leave Schalke um, this uh, summer. Um, he, I think he was involved in a car crash. He had a great season when Dominic Tedesco was there. I was the manager at Chalka, and then he got into a car crash, I think, and he wasn't right since mentally. Um, but if he can get into an environment with a good coach who knows how to get the best out of him, he can be a very productive uh, number ten. So then we have uh, Munas Dabor for Hoffenheim, uh, number ten again, kind of like a Miri, a lot of tricks, a lot of flicks, a lot of moves. The Bundesliga trophy going for twenty five dollars. We're in the money here. This is a good box. Um, but De Boer, you know, he has a lot of tricks, flicks, got a wonder goal in him. You know, got a goal asto in him. But uh, just doesn't doesn't have the intensity for me. Give me an Andre Kramerich any day over a Munoz De Boer. So I've just, I've just sleeved him just automatically, but I actually didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to just put him there. Wow, our second our second decade of dominance card. And it is Reinhold Yabo. Somebody mentioned Reinhold Yabo earlier, didn't they? Long runner since 2016, Reinhold Yabo. Yabo opened and closed the decade in Germany, launching his career with FC Cologne in 2010 before coming to a, uh, Armenia Belfield in 2019 following a three-year run in Austria. In 2019, Reinhold netted four goals, including a pair in February, to help his side claim the Bundesliga Zwei Championship. No, it's a die cut. Someone did cut the corners, but they meant to do that, if you can believe it. So, this is what the decade of dominance set looks like. But hang on a second. He opened and closed... Look at the back of this. Read this, right? Yaba opened and closed the decade in Germany, launching his career. So, he was in Cologne in 2010... Then he went to Austria. And then he won the Bundesliga 2. And then he came back. That's not a decade of dominance. That's a decade of in and out. This is a... This is just ridiculous. Long runner since 2016. What does that mean? Long runner since 2016. No. No, 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 no. I don't like... I don't like what I'm seeing. Decade of dominance. All right, we only got a few packs left. Okay. Luca Tussar. There we go. French midfielder for um, Hurt to Berlin. Him and uh, Gwenduzi, both French midfielders playing for Hertha Berlin this season. Not a great season for them. Then we have Jonas Hector, good solid um, defender mm, slash midfielder uh, for FC Cologne. Now 
Then we have Levin Ostanali. Ustanali. There we go for uh, for Mainz midfielder. Have, can't say I've seen him play. So. And then we have a refractor of Tyler Adams, an American, an American in Leipzig. Tyler Adams, there we go. You can see it's a chrome refractor. Pretty nice. Missed time with injuries last season, but uh, only lost two of the 14 matches in which he appeared. Rising star on the U. I believe he had a good game against... Um, who did the States play the other night to get into the final of the Nations League? I believe Adams had a good game. Am I, is that crazy? Am I way off? Nice refractor there. Ooh, refract, refract, refract. Adams didn't play, but... Oh, but somebody played and wasn't as good as Adams, and so Adams will play... Oh, what? He got a yellow card from the bench. Giving it all this, was he? Giving it all that. I'm Tyler Adams. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Big big for their boots in Leipzig. Big for their boots. So then what I'm, I don't know what I'm remembering about Tyler Adams then. I must have just heard something that was completely wrong. Okay. Sticking with Orby Leipzig. Yusuf Poulsen. Danish forward. Dodi Lukabakio for her to Berlin. I liked him. I saw a bit of him last season. I liked him. Ha ha ha. Swiss goalkeeper for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Sommer. If you uh, if you enjoy goalkeeping, a fun game to play is to watch Borussia Mönchengladbach play and try and figure out is Jan Sommer good or bad? And it's almost impossible to tell. He's either... It's actually, you don't know. He's either really good or really bad most of the time. Um, so that's Jan Sommer. And then we have Valdemar Anton for Stuttgart. Defender for Stuttgart. There we go. Um... If anyone's still in the chat, could you tell me how many people are watching the stream? Because I can't see. As I said before, I don't have a dual monitor set up, so I can only see, uh, like, the thing. Ten. All right, we had 19. We're at 10. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. No, well, I do know the Bundesliga, just not very well. But thank you. There's Kabak again. We already got the future stars, one of him. So that's this means nothing to me. Claims not to know very well. Yeah. Well, I have to try and stay somewhat specialized. Otherwise, I'll dilute my brand. Uh, there's Kevin uh, Akpaguma again. We already got him, I think, in a to 199 Prism Parallel. Prism with an S, not Prism with a Z. That would be copyright infringement. Uh, Stefan Bell for Mainz. And future stars. Dennis Zakaria. I think half people left once you couldn't make your face smaller. That's not. <laughs> That's funny. But I look. Yeah, Silas is a rookie. Yeah, he has a an RC logo. I'll see if I can find it for you. Um, I get it for you. One second here. Here is Silas now. All right. Does Silas have a card last season? I don't know. Didn't they just get promoted? Or was that the season before that? Daniel uh, Dadavi there for Stuttgart. Stuttgart. 
So stuck out renewed it promoted. There you go. Um so then yeah. Yuri Pavlenka gone down with Werder Bremen. Schlager, Wolfsburg. And here's a refractor of a man that is following us around. Dennis Zakaria. Following us around. We now have a refractor, a base, and a future stars for Zakaria. Let's hope he goes goes and moves somewhere. We really banded together to answer that Silas question there, team. That was good going. So what do we think? Do we think that my face should be as big as the card cam and the card cam should be the whole screen? Is that what we're thinking? Or is this okay? What do we think? Yozua a Kimmich. Florian Niederlechter. Ah, here's a good man here. Andre Silva. Andre Silva, of course. I have... Do I have it correct? Oh. Back here somewhere, or maybe in the... Maybe behind this jersey. Um, I have an Andre Silva on-card auto from a few years back. I think a Panini Select, maybe. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're happy enough with it. At least you guys are happy enough with this setup. And that's... That's good enough for me. It's good enough for chat. It's good enough for me. Jan Sommer. Is he good or is he bad? We don't know. All we know is this is a 1099 green parallel. There we go. I just love the look of these parallels. I really do. There's something about them. All the inserts and stuff like that I don't like, but they're just the base parallels I really like. Whoa. Only two packs left. Only construction crew will be at the camera was above the cards. So we'd see the card at the same time as you. Yeah. I think that, that would be great. If they, like if I was opening this and you kind of were seeing the that would be good. But um, I think you're right. We'll see what we can do. This is just a start. I'll go back and examine this and we'll see. Okay. Santi Askasibar for her to Berlin. Midfielder. Our old mate, the man who has dominated, dominated the Bundesliga for a decade, Reinhold Jabo, including three years in Austria and a few years in the second division. So, decade of dominance there, just a base card for Reinhold Jabo. Then we have the Swedish Robin Quaison going to the Euros. The long runner himself, Jabo, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have an, ooh, a lovely to 250 uh, Christoph Piontek. Look at that. That is very nice. It's a very nice, um, shiny, shiny parallel there of Christoph Piontek. So, again, love the car, don't love the player. But imagine, I guess what we have to imagine is, imagine if this set, like if the checklist was better, um, and then we could have like better players but on the same like if the Champions League Chrome is the same kind of aesthetic as this that'd be so good because you'd have much better players Um, they look they look fantastic in fairness they really do look unreal Um, as you say Jay Burnsy so hopefully they yeah exactly so the players aren't great but the, the cards are straight fire so hopefully they stick with the uh with the design and just, you know, a better checklist for Champions League. Yeah, they're hefty. They are. They have a heft to them. So there we go. Look. The box is empty. Time to close up the box. And this is our last pack. Last pack. Ooh. 
Uh, a Euro preview pod, yeah, on Thursday. So we're doing ours on, it'll be out on Thursday. Um, and the thing starts on Friday. So you'll have to move quick. Okay, final pack. Christopher Nkunku for Orbi Leipzig. French, formerly of the PSG Academy. Let him go. Jonathan uh, Schmid, I believe, our duplicate. We also have a refractor of him. Matthias Ginter, Russian Munchen Gladbach defender, I believe, is going to the Euros. And the final card of this box of Bundesliga Chrome is... Ozan Kabak Refractor. Ozan Refract. Ozan Kabak? More like Ozan Refract. Or Refractor. So there we go. There we have an Ozan Kabak Refractor card to finish us off on this box of uh, Bundesliga Chrome. So let's just go through the hits uh, real quick. I'll just shuffle through them. Um, let's throw this box over there. And go from the from the back here again. So we start off with a Musa Niakate to 25 autograph. A Jude Bellingham, sorry. A Jude Bellingham rookie base. A Nicholas Stark decade of dominance Decade of Dominance die cut. According to Beckett, the trophy short print odds are 1 in 503, making Super Refractors the only thing. Whoa! So the Bundesliga trophy is the rarest thing except Super Refractors. Wow. We are rich. Then we have the uh, Natasic uh, Refractor. The uh, Angpaguma uh, to 199. Parallel. Jonathan Schmid, Refractor. Ruben Vargas to 299, Purple Refractor. He looks very young there, doesn't he? Uh, Silas, Wama, Orsi, Base. Jean Philippe Mateta to 150. I think it's a blue wave, parallel. This, the Bundesliga trophy. The Meister Schala, the second most rare thing you can pull from a box of this. Wow. Marcus Turan base. I think it could be his rookie card. He definitely has a sticker. Uh, Makoko Orsi base. Ozan Kabak, future stars. Florian Verts. We're calling that a rookie. Does the trophy have it? No, it doesn't have a rookie logo. It's been in use for 103 years. Come on. There's the long runner himself, Reinhold Yabo. Decade of dominance. Mostly absent, decade of dominance. Tyler Adams, refractor. Dennis Zakari of Future Stars. Dennis Zakari, refractor. Jan Sommer, green parallel to 99. mm mm Christoph Piontek to 250. Really nice. And an Ozan Kabak refractor. So, I think it's a pretty good box of chrome. I My review would be I love the cards. Um, I think the cards are fantastic. The die cuts are terrible. Uh, the inserts aren't great. See you, T-Crier. Bye-bye. Um, but yeah, good fun. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And uh, if you have a Twitch account, you're in the chat and stuff, do click the follow button. Um, because hopefully we'll be doing more of these in future and hopefully I can figure out how to get Enzo on the stream as well. So uh, stick with us through our production issues as we try and do more card live streams. Um, from me and Topps Chrome Bundesliga, oh, Topps Chrome Bundesliga, it's a good night. Thank you, Jay Burnsy. See you later. Bye, folks. Bye-bye, bye-bye.